definitely know that we have more heat than we can use. I call it the solar heartland right along that I-8 corridor from Gila Bend to Yuma. Really some of the best solar conditions in the entire world. What we've done in the last four years is reinvent the town under a theme of economic, social, and environmental sustainability. The Solana project, as well as some of our other projects that we've done down in Gila Bend, has really positioned Gila Bend to be the center of the solar universe here. There wasn't a whole lot of economic prospects in Gila Bend about four and a half years ago. Uh, we knew solar was a prime candidate for economic growth, so we targeted that. There are some businesses that have closed, and now they're starting to get going and get opening. During the economic recession, we are at full employment. When you look at the Abengoa and Cotton Center and Paloma, you had about 2,500 jobs in a community of 1,700 people, which means the hotels are all filled up, the restaurants are busy. By having new industries in town, it helps to support the families that we have hired. We've been able to take these solar plants and work hand in hand with APS and create jobs. I believe the solar power is going to be a big boom in Gila Bend. What we're trying to do is create it as a destination point, not just a necessarily a pass-through point. We just look at this cars going by here. There are just tons and tons of cars. So yes, I think we're finally on the map.